Hi, welcome to Coyamster. Today I'll be viewing this DIY Tesla rechargeable TENS unit. And here are some of the items that come with it. These are what I usually keep in the travel bag. Most of the time, I'm using these two. This is the larger pad and the medium sized pad. It did come with four of these smaller sized pads too. Um, these are, I think they're more for like you know, your elbow, arm, anywhere with a smaller surface area. I don't really use these that much. But as for either using two of mediums or, unfortunately for the large, it only came with just a pair for the large. Here's the mini USB cable to recharge the unit. And here's the power adapter. It inputs at 100 to 240 volts, outputs at five volt, 0.5 amps. It also came with one of these storage plates. I don't use this one at all because it just came with one. I always save these, the plastic. So that way, whenever I'm done using it, I just place it back on here. I don't really need to replace the pads unless they don't stick anymore. Now, it came with a couple of booklets. You can glance past them if you need to, but even if you don't have the booklet, the item is very easy to figure out. Operation is simple. If you want to read any part more detail, just feel free to pause the video here. And one other booklet that this came with that I, um, well, anyone that wants to take these pressure points very seriously, here's a schematic of the pressure points on your body. Now the key is down here, and the symptoms are on the other side. So for example, if you have gastritis, then you'll use this point over here and you just match it with, you just look for it down here. For the device, power switch is on top over here, a little lanyard loop, and the mini USB input for charging the item. First power this on. By default, it's 20 minutes. Also shows the battery strength. I can increase the strength of the TENS unit whenever it's doing a massage. Just press on the plus, decrease strength, strength by pressing the minus. I can adjust the time by pressing the T down here. At most is 60 minutes. Then I can change to different modes too. Now it's great that whenever the item boots back up, whenever a new cycle starts, the strength is always heat back here. I actually don't like those other units that remembers the strength because sometimes it might be too strong and next Someone else uses it, my mom uses it, and the strength is just um, too shocking for her right off the bat. Once the time, timer runs out, down to zero, the unit automatically shuts off. Now as for battery life, I can get about two to three days use before I need to recharge it. And it's about like, it's about twice a day, 20 minute cycles, so that's about 40 minutes a day. This is great for muscle cramps, sore back, what drew me to this is the other units I reviewed in the past, those I had to put in AAA batteries. Or if you see my other videos, I always have those massage pillows. I travel with those, but they take up room. If I need to go someplace for just a day trip or a weekend trip, for example, if I need to go to any of my shows in Ohio or Pennsylvania, in that case, I just bring this. This can fit on my carry-on. I don't need to check any sort of luggage or anything. Everything, everything you see here, fits in nicely right in this little pouch. The one thing I did not like is the charging function of it, this mini USB. It would be nicer if they had a micro USB. Very few devices now use mini USB dash cams, maybe. But besides that, uh, yeah, not many devices use mini USB. Just another cable for me to bring with me. Eh. But that's minor. The item, everything you see here, costs just under $30 off Amazon. I think that's well worth it for comfort, portability, and this could get very strong too. So yes, I recommend it. I'll place the link in the description below. If you guys have any questions, comments, suggestions, feel free to contact me. Thanks for watching Uncle Hamster. Bye.